Hello guys, how are we all doing? Welcome back to yet another video. Now I'm sure you're all buzzing after England beating Germany yesterday. What a win that was. But let's get back into some championship related content. Let's do some transfer talk. Let's go. Let's start with a big one then. Nottingham Forest winger Sammy Amiobi has signed for Middlesbrough Football Club on a free. Now this is a really good deal. I've really liked Sammy Amiobi watching him over the last couple of years when he was at Bolton and for Forest over the last couple of years. He's just a really good player. I love everything about him. He's got some really good attributes. He has actually played for Middlesbrough before. He went on loan to Middlesbrough back in 2013. That's a bit of a throwback now, eight years ago. He made a few appearances, getting a goal for them then. But now he has gone there on a permanent. And uh, yeah, he's a really good player. He's 29 years old, so he brings quite a bit of experience. During his two-year spell at Nottingham Forest, he made 77 appearances, bagging eight goals and getting a few assists as well. So a really good player, a really good signing for Middlesbrough. I'm a bit jealous of that one as a Coventry fan. We'll move down to newly promoted Peterborough United, who have signed George. George Grant from Lincoln City on an undisclosed fee. This is a midfielder for a three-year deal. Now, this is a really good signing. This is a really good player. He was fantastic for Lincoln. I think he's been with them for the last couple of years, and he made some really big contributions last year, bagging 17 goals, most of them granted from the penalty spot. But still, to get 17 goals for a midfielder is absolutely fantastic. Now, this guy was a transfer target of many championship clubs this summer, including my team once again, Coventry City, but we couldn't get him. And fair play to Peterborough, having just come up managing to to get this guy through the doors. This is a big signing and a big step towards having a good squad for next year, Peterborough. Peterborough have also signed goalkeeper David Cornell in the last week as well. He's on a free from Ipswich, the goalkeeper on a two-year deal, once again boosting their squad. So Peterborough, it's a good start. Staying in the goalkeeper department, we're going to go up to Stoke City who've made another signing. They have signed goalkeeper Jack Bonham from Gillingham in League One. This is on a free. He's 27, another two-year deal, and this is a good sign of for Stoke City. I like Jack Bonham. I think I've seen him play a few times for Gillingham and uh, he's quite an underrated keeper so a good signing for Stoke. A signing I forgot to mention in the last video is experienced midfielder Matty James who has been released by Leicester City has signed now for Bristol City. Now he was another Coventry City target. I'm very frustrated we couldn't get him back because he's a very good player. The 29 year old brings loads of experience especially at the championship level. He was part of the Leicester City squad that won the championship back in 2014 and last year he was on loan to Barnsley who went on to make the playoffs and he was also on loan to Coventry who managed to stay up so a really experienced midfielder and a really good signing for Bristol City. Now to some players who are departing the championship this summer starting at Millwall we have Sean Williams the midfielder a very experienced midfielder he's 34 years old he has signed for Portsmouth Football Club in League One. Just on a one-year deal, I think, with his age. They didn't want to give him too long of a contract, but he's a very experienced footballer, and I think he's quite a good addition to Portsmouth down in League One. I'm sure he can do bits at that level. And then at the Hawthorns, we've seen Raheem Harper departing West Bromwich Albion to join Ipswich in League One. This one, an undisclosed fee deal. The midfielder, 21 years old, but they signed him for three years, so they've seen something in him that they really think they can build around him. I think he's one for the future, definitely Raheem Harper. Hasn't really had too much game time for West Bromwich Albion but Ipswich have really seen something in him and it's going to be interesting to see how much game time he gets for them. Next then to the KC where we've seen Elliot Bonds departing Hull City to join new League One club Cheltenham, another 21 year old and this one is a two year deal so couldn't really get much game time for Hull City but it's going to be interesting to see once again if this guy can get game time in League One. And finally then to the managerial department where Barnsley have replaced Valerie and Ismail with Marcus Shop. Now this guy's quite a good manager he's quite experienced and once again Barnsley have looked overseas to get a manager which is quite clever and becoming more common in the championship. Now this guy was the manager of TSV Hartberg and led them to the Europa League qualifying round in 2020 so his really good achievements there not going unnoticed and like I say this is going to be an interesting one a bit of a wild card again because when Ismail went into Barnsley I really didn't know what to expect no one really would have expected him to take them to the playoffs so this is another one where Barnsley are thinking maybe another manager from overseas who's going to be a bit different maybe do something special again with Barnsley but I'm excited to see what happens like I said Barnsley really are a wild card next season because you do usually associate them with being in a relegation battle but to make the playoffs last year I don't know what's going to happen with Barnsley next year so we'll just have to wait and see. So then guys that wraps up today's video thank you for watching please make sure to drop it a like and subscribe to the channel if you are new we'll keep doing these because we are now nearly into July and the transfers just keep coming like this they've been coming out very quickly we're roughly getting five or six transfers in the championship every day so I will try and keep on top of those but once again thank you for supporting the channel and we are on the march to 4k we will see you in the next video guys peace out.